We have created this video to help you understand multi-lane roundabouts. We have used the Queen's roundabout in Farnborough to help demonstrate this. It's very important with roundabouts that on the approach you look out for signs and road markings that help you understand which lane will be best for the direction you're going. I'm going to show you turning left, following the road ahead, and turning right from the same direction of this roundabout. I will point out the signs and road markings to help you understand which lane is the best for the direction you are travelling. I've paused the video so you can see the white sign on the left which I've now made larger for you. It tells us the left lane is the best lane to be turning left from, so we're going to centre mirror left mirror left signal to move into the left lane. We're going to leave this left signal on as we're going left first exit on the roundabout. As the lights start to turn green, we'll check our centre and left and right mirrors for Bob and Tom. We'll have a quick glance to the right as we're heading off to check for emergency vehicles or anybody else that might have jumped a red light. And then we're coming off the roundabout at the first exit. Now once we're in the new road, we check our new mirrors. And as you can see, the two lanes merge together here. So we need to be checking our centre and right mirror just in case anybody's trying to squeeze past us. So this time we're going to follow the road ahead second exit. As you can see from the sign, we have a choice of several lanes to follow the road ahead. When you've got a choice of more than one lane, it's best to choose the furthest left one. There are a few times that you might use the right lane instead of the left one if you had a choice of two. For example, if we were going to be turning right just after the roundabout, we'd be able to come off in the right lane because we've approached in the right lane. So then we'd be ready for that second junction. Also, if there was a slow moving vehicle following the road ahead from the left lane, we could use the right of the two lanes to overtake it whilst we were on the roundabout. So we're going to be moving into this left lane, so it's centre mirror, left mirror, left signal, just so we can move into the left lane and then we'll cancel the signal. So as the lights go green, we'll check our centre and left and right mirrors for Bob and Tom, and then we'll go on to the roundabout having a quick look to the right for any emergency vehicles or anybody else that might have jumped a red light. Now we need to follow the road markings. You can see that the furthest left lane is for left turn only, so we're going into the second lane out from the left. Once we pass this first exit, we're now back in the left lane of the roundabout ready to come off at the second exit. So it's centre mirror, left mirror, left signal to exit the roundabout. As we come off the roundabout, we check new road, new mirrors, and as you can see from the road markings, these two lanes merge together, so we're going to check our centre mirror and right mirror again, just to check if anybody's trying to squeeze past us at the last moment. So this time, we're going to go right third exit towards the A325 South. As you can see from the sign, we can do that from the middle lane and the right lane. As we talked about before, it would be best to use the middle lane, as we're not going to be doing any overtaking. So as the lights go green, we'll check our centre and left and right mirrors of Bob and Tom, and then we'll make our way forward into that middle lane. Now as these lights are red, we need to remember our tyres and tarmac with this red car in front of us. Now I've paused the video again so you can see this next white sign in detail. Again it shows us we still need the middle lane as we can use the middle and the right lane to go towards the A325 South. You can also see from these dots on the floor that the road markings are taking us into the middle lane. Now as you can see we haven't put our right signal on because sometimes a signal can be more misleading than it is helpful. Because we're going right third exit of the roundabout, but we're in the middle lane, we don't want people thinking we're trying to move from the middle lane into their right lane, so our position is our main signal at the moment as we go around the roundabout. As we follow the roundabout round in the middle lane, I'm going to pause it one more time just to show you the road markings and the signs so you know where to go. As you can see, this exit on the left is only the second one, so we're going to keep following the roundabout round to the right, where there will only be two lanes, of which we will want the left one. We have now passed the second exit, so we can centre mirror, left mirror, left signal to exit in the left lane.
Now we've come off the roundabout, it's just new road, new mirrors to check for Bob and Tom and also to make sure it's safe to get up to speed. So we're going to look at the roundabout from a different direction. Even though it's the same roundabout, we may need to do different things, so it's very important we look at the road markings and the signs every time we approach the roundabout. This time we're going to be going right third exit, just like the last clip you watched, but from a different direction. So look out for the differences. I will pause it where needed to point out the things you need to see. So, to go right third exit, it's centre mirror, right mirror, right signal, getting into this right lane as it splits into two. We're going to check our centre mirror and right mirror again as it's going to split into three lanes and we need this third one. So we have a green light, we're going to have a quick glance to the right for emergency vehicles or anything else that might jump a red light and we're going to go on to the roundabout into the right lane as that's the lane we've approached in. Now you can see that our right signal is still on. Earlier in this video we talked about not giving misleading signals. Well at the moment it's been a helpful signal, that's why we've left it on so far. But we're going to cancel it as we move off from here as we don't want people thinking we want the right lane as we're about to move out towards the left one. You can see the hatch markings on the right here are pushing us out from the inside of the roundabout. We need to get ourselves out to the left lane as we pass that second exit that you can see in the distance. So we're going to be doing quite a lot of direction change here. So we're going to be doing quite a few mirrors as we move off and as we're going around the corner. I've paused the video at this point so I can show you exactly where you want to be with your position. You can see the long dash lines on the left are separating us and the people in the left lane. So you can see that they're going down that exit that we can see in front of us where we need to be going around the corner to the third exit. As you can see from the green bit that I've now put on the screen, this is the lane that we want to be taking around into the left lane. You can also see from this sign on the right that it tells us that we need that left lane to go towards the business parks, which is where we're heading to. As we come off the roundabout, we'll check new road, new mirrors, just to make sure it's safe to proceed down the next road. This time we're following the road ahead second exit from a different direction. As you can see from the sign now I've paused it, we need the second of four lanes, as the left lane is left only. As we need the second lane, we're going to get into it as soon as possible, so our position is a strong signal. As before, if we follow these dots onto the roundabout, it will take us to the lane we need. As you can see, as we go past this first exit, we now need the left lane to come off at the second exit. So now, centre mirror, left mirror, left signal to come off the roundabout. As we're coming off the roundabout, we want to check new road, new mirrors, check in for Bob and Tom and to make sure it's safe to get up to speed in the new road. If you've got any questions about what you've seen today, do ask your instructor. They'll be more than happy to help you on lessons understand what you've been learning in this video today.